It's good to be here in a place where, you know, the voters understand the needs of both the patients and the recreational people. And we all understand that for recreationalists, it's the most benign, therapeutically active substance, protecting your neuroendocannabinoid systems. It's just to deny us the access to this wonderful herb is really sacrilegious. It is a war against the creator's work. It is a war against the people. Here I am. I have been legal, authorized by the federal government for 27 years. I had to prove to FDA, DEA, and NIDA that cannabis is the most efficient, the most reliable, and the safest part of my treatment. As it turns out, today it is the only part of my treatment. <laughs> and I am at an age where most of my friends have a medicine cabinet full of nasty drugs that cause them to take all their drugs, which they have it on their brain, their liver, their heart, and everything else they're trying to protect that marijuana does well. Gee, it's a wonder the pharmaceutical and the health industry just don't want it to change. They will lose 50% of their business at least the day cannabis takes its rightful place in our society. I applaud you for having made so much progress, but you know the job's far from over. I don't know why we're not having million marches all over this country behind Bernie Sanders. He's the only one that's come up with a plan that just might work to end the federal war on us. This needs to change. We need to get behind this man. It's the only hope I have seen lately. Changing laws, as long as the feds say no, my doctor still doesn't have the right to practice his Hippocratic Oath. In other words, he's not allowed to have the First Amendment of the Constitution, and neither are you, not really. We can rant and rave and all, but we can't even light up. After all those approvals, I don't feel free to light up right now. I don't want to hassle, you know, I'll cause you a problem. This is disgusting, this is ridiculous, and to Charge someone that wants to start a cannabis business $5,000 when someone can open a liquor store for $500. There is something really messed up about this. We have come a long ways, but obviously we're not done with this job. We need to change it federally. You need to get rid of the clowns who oppose us. I thank you, Jennifer, for being at those meetings, for saying what needs to be said, and for running for office now. Thank you so much to all of you who keep doing things like that. It's the only thing that's really going to change everything. Remember, remember that it, freedom isn't really free. So you got to make sure it gets untangled from these bureaucracies and that your own legislators do make you suffer. Come on, with this bureaucracy, I lost sight that I had maintained for 37 years when you got greedy and wanted more money than I could pay you for my license to honor my prescription. That's ridiculous. Like my daughter said, man made booze, God made pot, who do you trust? Let the true spirit of love always be your guiding light, but don't sit on the job. Don't let another Nixon come in and tear us all down. We're back to where we were in 1980. Are we going to let it all go back to hell again? We're on our way there. We are at the top of the hill. Let's make it all the way and put our flag nice and high, the ham flag, the ham flag, and start taking care of our environment. Remember that the green leaf is here for the healing of the nations. Remember that, and remember that hemp can and will save the planet. Get rid of those paper, stinky paper mills. Do the right paper with the right crops that we can harvest at least once a year. Give our workers jobs. Please, get back to the hemp. You've already voted it in. Let's really work at making a change. Thank you. Love you.